Hey, it's Dr. Corey Glenn, and I want to show a new feature that has been added into Blue Sky Plan, and it's the ability to place an analog hole into the model where you're going to have your implants. Now, this is a really neat development because it allows us to make temporaries or abutments uh, before we even do the surgery and know that they're going to be accurate. So this is a great case to do such a thing. Um, this patient is missing number eight and number nine. He's got tons of bone, as you can see when we go through each implant position. There's just plenty of bone, and so I have no doubt that we can get great primary stability on this case. And the patient would love to be able to leave the procedure and actually have teeth in his mouth. And so what we're going to do now is going to uh, allow us to create a model where we can do that. So what I'll do is turn on um, the STL model. We've already done our treatment planning on the cone beam data. And so now we can turn off the cone beam rendering. And as you can see, I've got the implants turned on. And I'm going to turn off all of the models uh, in this right-hand side, the CT surface, any other STL models that you may have. We're just going to turn on the one model that uh, we want to do this on. So go to File, Push, Create Analog Holes. And what you'll see happen is that we get a second STL model up here at the top, which is colored in green. We'll change that to blue. It'll be a little bit easier to see. Uh, but now we have a second model. So if I turn off the one that we were dealing with earlier, and if I turn off the implants now, you can see what we've generated. This is an STL model. Turn off that implant. This is an STL model that you could have 3D printed, and what it has is these holes created. Now those are in the exact same position uh, as your implants, and they're created such that you could actually take the analog for, in this case, it was a Biomax implant, uh, three and a half diameter, and you could drop that straight into this hole, and it would bottom out, um, making it be at the proper position for the platform, the same as what we're planning to do with the guided surgery. You'll also notice we've got the, uh, a smaller hole that's uh, from the underside. You could take uh, any thin object and push this out. And so what's so great about this is that now we could actually 3D print this model, drop the analogs in, and then create restorations, temporary restorations on this. You could even create the final abutments. I wouldn't create the final crown probably on this because, um, you know, they're could be a little error in contacts or some small uh, details like that, but you could certainly create the final abutment um, and then be able to make your temporaries at the time of surgery or even have the temporaries fabricated ahead of time. Uh, so I hope you found that helpful. Just another really cool development that the software developers uh, for Blue Sky have come up with. Thanks.